So let's start with supported catalyst. As the name implies, you're going to be supporting our catalyst. So first thing first, what you're going to do is finally and minute pulverize the catalyst, which is our active material, and then we're going to disperse it on a less reactive material or probably non-reactive material, which will be called the support. So you're going to have the active material plus the support. And you're going probably also going to add some small amounts of material that increase the activity of the catalyst, which are called promoters. So you have active material, which is maybe accounting 95% of that, promoters, which probably will be 5% of the reaction, and the support, which will give the physical uh, shape or a structure to our ma uh, material. So let's see this carbon support platinum catalyst. The actual catalyst is platinum, but we're going to support it on carbon in order to get this here. What we got here. And then you start with your silica coating, then you depose the material, and you have it here. Perfect. Then you're going to treat it with heat, and once you heat it, you're going to see how this go inside, how the red dots, which is the cobalt, go here. And you're going to remove this silica. And that's essentially everything, guys. Look how this right here out goes away. And that will be your support, the carbon right here. So here's the carbon. It's all the time being support the platinum and the cobalt material catalyst. So that's awesome. You don't even have to wash it. It goes out alone. Another example, which you could see, you have this silicon oxide bed and you have palladium here. You, This is your support and this is your active material. And in general, you call this the catalyst. So when you mount it, you will not be able to, put, to react that, which is what you want, because you want to react this here, here. And it has a 95% of alkane selectivity, which is awesome. Perfect. Now what else do we have here? How to prepare a catalyst? I'm not going to give you that much information. I just wanted to tell you that it's a little bit complicated, complex to do that. And what I want to show you is that you have this dispersion silica zero gel. This is your support and you can use it for the catalyst treatment. So yeah, you can see here how is the active sites here before calcination and after calcination you have more concentration of our active sites. Uh, let me give you examples because these actually personally they are so abstract to me okay it's cool the images but in the industry we're going to be using them a lot in the pack bed reactors you know one of the most common ones are the catalytic converters in the auto the ones you have your auto here You're here right now, and instead of having black smoke, which is bad, we're going to have gray or white smoke, which is not that bad, but it's still bad, of course. It has CO2 and other materials. Here you even have CO, CO2, bad. This is very bad. CO2 is bad, but CO is worse. Now we also have the platinum aluminum for petroleum reformation. So the aluminum is essentially this material which does not react, but the platinum does react. So you have it here. And the vanadium pentoxide on silica, which silica is essentially, once again, this here. You're going to place your vanadium pentoxide here. And once again, this is a supporter. And this here is our active material. And we call all this the catalyst. And that's essentially on supported catalyst. We're going to see the next video, the concept of the activation. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, 
teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.